Well, thanks, Natalia, again, for joining me and doing this post-episode Big Break interview. Once again, you were sitting pretty on the sidelines. (laughs) (laughs) I was. Yeah. So tell me, um, walk through the day with me and what it was like for all of you with such a monumental figure like Yanni Sang joining you. Um, well, breakfast was definitely, it was a big surprise at breakfast. I mean, it's like a normal day for us, you know, we're just, we're getting mic in the morning and then sitting down and talking amongst each other. And then we see, um, Yanni come through the door after we read our, um, our itinerary for the day and our hint, let's say, um, and just having her in our presence, like you said, is, is, is crazy. I mean, the girl is number one in the world right now. She's going to break tons of more records than she already has to begin with. She's going far with that. And, I mean, um, she's a really nice girl. Like, I mean, she's so modest when it comes to her gain. And she, she seems very quiet on camera, but when you actually get to know her and talking to her, she'll talk all day. So um, she actually uh, played a – it was just a visit because she had to fly out that same night to go to a tournament. I forget which one it was, though. Mm. So it was just kind of um, a stop for her. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Well, it got out of her way. Yeah. Well, you know, she's number one in the world, but you were first picked when somebody was – given the opportunity to pick their team. How did that make you feel? Um, Kelly, we, me and her clicked when we first, uh, when we first got there. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we had to practice on together. So that's already, you know, getting to know each other, too. So, I mean, it did feel pretty cool. And, I mean, she's an awesome girl, and she ended up being um, one of the good cap- one of the best captains we had. Like, I mean, I don't know how the other teams went, but, mm-hmm. I mean, she's a great captain, and our team was just, it was awesome. I could not for any a better team. We all clicked really well. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, well, you guys certainly did well. Um, now, during that immunity, though, you actually sort of stepped into the role of captain trying to help her when she seemed kind of doubtful about what she was going to do. Yeah, for that uh, second shot she had. I mean, she's she doesn't have enough, like a lot of experience because she did quit golf before, you know, because her dad was involved and she didn't want to sponsor her and things like that. And I mean, she's a good player. There's no doubt in my mind she could have hit that shot regardless of any club. But she's very – like, I, I knew how she played because of the practice round. Mm-hmm. So that kind of gave me an advantage already. Um, so I know she second-guessed herself a lot. And, I mean, once she has the club, she knows. She's really good with her iron shots, her long irons, but she's kind of guessing her shorter shots. She even said that to me in the practice round as well. So, I mean, I know the club that she wanted. She was in between three. Mm-hmm. But she's like, I'm comfortable with this club, and I knew she was. So I said, no, nope, take that club, first gut feeling, end of story, hit it, and she did well. Mm-hmm. And that's all you should think about. Like, you don't need, especially because it's on the show, you, it's already so much thinking and so much extra thinking to begin with. You know what I mean? You don't need anything else. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, she had she had the mindset already down. She was just unsure. Yeah. And, I mean, she did well. She picked it. And that's why it was an advantage to have a team, too. So you have that backup and that, you know, that drive to get something going and to get something done. Mm-hmm. And you have that positive attitude behind you as well, mm-hmm. just to, re- to reassure you. So yeah. that's yeah. what she needed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we all need it from time to time. I mean, trust is one of the hardest things in golf. And uh, if somebody oh, yeah. else trusts you, <laughs> then, you know, it's a lot easier to trust yourself. Well, exactly. That's why it's important to have a good caddy too. So, right? No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, um, there were some interesting things that happened. I mean, we saw, you know, um, Gloriana hook it off a tree and get it into yeah. the fairway. Um, yes. And we saw, you know, Yanni actually miss a putt, which just blew me away. And um, we saw Zakia um, not use Yanni for one of her putts um, on the flop flop shot competition. And that also shocked me, like taking on that risk herself. Mm -hmm. What did you think of that? I mean, if she thought she had the putt, she looked at it, and she had no uh, second guesses in the mind, by all means. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, having Yanni as um, a mulligan, hey, I would have done it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Regardless if it was two feet, I would have done it because it was an advantage, and she was there, so might as well use it, right? But yeah. I mean, everybody's different; they have their own opinion for things. But I, I guess, I guess. But then she turned around in elimination, didn't quite have the same trust in her game going into that, and no. sold out, you know, all her points. And she was a leader. Yeah. That would you have done the same thing, or what would you have done? Um, probably. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's an advantage to have the points, right? That's mm-hmm. what the show is about is the most points possible. 
you know, get to the final round. So, I mean, the most points, regardless if it's a week in, two weeks in, three weeks in, it's going to be an advantage for you. Mm -hmm. Just like the show already shown, like, that's how it's shown already. So, Mm -hmm. like, there's a little twist. And we didn't even know that. So, I mean, regardless, like I said, first week, second week, you had a lot of points, obviously it's an advantage. And Mm -hmm. clearly it was, so she used it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was a tough shot. Mm-hmm. Like, it, was, it was extremely tough shot for immunity, especially uh, elevated green. The wind was crazy, of course, and then the water on the left too as well. So it mm-hmm. wasn't easy. No, you know it didn't look easy. I felt sorry for all of them watching them. Oh and wh- yeah, so I mean that could be the weakest part of a game. We don't know, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So that's why she could have passed on. So. Oh, very, very good point. Very good point. Now, what about Shannon? I thought she was a really, you know, one of the top players, um, and yet she's taking the walk. I mean, did that not shock everybody? What was the yeah, conversation that night? I mean, Shannon's an amazing player. Like, I was pretty close with her as well as Megan, and they were the first two eliminated, you know? Mm-hmm. And I got really close with both of them, and um, they're both great players. I mean, Megan um, didn't have as much um, experience like Shannon did, but regardless, that doesn't mean anything. Regardless, coming to the big break, none of us have enough experience for the show. No. Regardless if you if you played on tour or not. You know what I mean? Just like Yanni. It was first for her, and it was totally different for her, too. She wasn't prepared for it. You can't prepare for it, you know? So, I mean, everybody's a good player, mm-hmm. and um, it's just it's the big break. Like, I mean, you could be the best player in the world, and you can have a shot that you're not comfortable with. Everybody makes a mistake. Some, mm-hmm. You know, someone's going to hit a good shot today. Someone's going to hit a bad shot tomorrow. It's just golf in general. Regardless if you're the strong point in the bunker, let's say, and you hit a bad bunker shot, it's just it could be that one shot that brings you and takes you home, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And, I mean, like I said, she's a really strong player. She's she's calm on the golf course, especially in a situ- like a stressful situation like that. Didn't show any emotion. I'm pretty much the same way, mm-hmm. and and I mean I give her all props for that. Like I mean she's so positive when it comes to things. So mm-hmm. I, everybody was very shocked. Even the people that I talked to here at home, they're like, "Wow, I didn't see that at all." And I mean I said, "Yeah, it's sad." Both mm-hmm. of them, like any elimination, is going to be sad to see them go. So I mean she played well. She made a mistake. So did Allison. But I guess you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One putt makes a difference, or one shot makes a difference, or one drive makes a difference. You know. Yeah. So and, and it depends hard. when you do it. You know. I mean. Exactly. Yeah. You see, uh, Aubrey missed that approach shot a few times, and yet she still was safe at the end of the day. So, depends when you make those bad shots, and when you make the good ones, it's all about timing. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like so, that flop shot, she missed. She missed the flop shot. Aubrey yeah. did, and then Yanni came in and saved her. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's so true. Well, the luck of the draw, big time. So <laughs> yeah, that's why you got to take everything on the big break because it isn't a golf game. It is, uh, it's golf entertainment at <laughs> the best. Yes. Yeah. It's a real. It's a big mental game on top of that too. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of things, like golf is mental, but this is a different kind of mental. Like there's a lot of stresses that are just on your shoulders that you never even realize until you move on to the next day. Yeah. You're like, yeah. wow. I was really tired from that day, you know what I mean? And I didn't even do anything because yeah. it's stress. It's what's on your mind. It's what, you know, you can be in safe city. And I said, like I said the other, uh, last week with you, I said, it's even more stressful mm-hmm. watching the girls. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to see either of those girls go, you know what I mean? It's even more stressful just sitting there and watching, sitting back and seeing that happen. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, even Yanni mentioned a number of times, you know, obviously we didn't hear everything that she said. But she did mention early on that, you know, there are more cameras here than on an LPGA tour event. And, you know, she felt the nerves at the flop shot. She didn't want to, you know, screw up for anybody. She wanted to do her best, but she's pretty aware that, you know, there's always an opportunity Mm -hmm. to make a bad shot. So it even affects world number one. Yeah. I know. It wasn't even the fact that it was the stresses of the show, but she's a celebrity coming on the show. Mm-hmm. So her eyes, everybody's eyes are going to be on her to begin with. And then she has everybody's uh, weight on the shoulders for those that, those four, four girls in that group, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. she had Aubrey's weight, she had Christina's weight, and Zakia and Shannon. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So she had all those girls. Yeah. So no. if they mess up, then she has to carry them. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't even, her, her spot was pretty tough. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even know, begin to know how that felt, so. Yeah. Well, you know, she's such a she's got such a great attitude. She smiles all the time. She, you know, seems to approach the game in such a positive way. So such a role model. Mm -hmm. She's very modest when it comes to things as well. 
And I mean, she's talkative. She uh, she gave us great advice, and I mean, she's she's very calm. Mm-hmm. Her composure is so calm about everything, regardless if she's stressed out or not. She'll just giggle it off or things mm-hmm. like that. She has a great attitude. So, mm-hmm. can you can you remember any of the advice she gave? Even one tidbit that you could share with us back here. Um, I mean, she said when it came to um, being number one and seeing if that was stressful and did that make her nervous when she goes to tee shots and things like that. And she's like, you know what? You get used to it. Mm. Instead of being nervous for tournaments, yeah, she does get still nervous. You know, nobody's perfect and nobody's not going to get nervous anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's true. So that, that really shows that she's she's real. Yep. You know, instead of actually saying, no, I don't get nervous anymore. You know, it's just <laughs> that's for babies. And blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? No, she she is real about it. Yeah. Nobody's never going to not be nervous, regardless if you're on TV or on the show, on the big break, or having the number one tournament going on in the LPGA or anything. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. each shot, you're going to get nervous. Each first tee, I guarantee there is a bundle of nerves in there, no mm-hmm. matter what. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, how you, it's how you deal with them, I guess. That really is something that the pros learn to live with more than we do. But uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Easier said than done, but you have to learn how to cope with those in some way. Everybody's yeah. different. Well, they all have mental coaches, or many of them do and stuff, so hey, they're obviously getting their money's worth if uh, the that's uh, making them a stronger player emotionally oh, and mentally. Yeah. yeah. I well, agree with that. It was such a great show with so many surprises, ups and downs. I can't wait for next week, show number three, and I look forward yeah. to talking to you again. Mm-hmm. Any Anything you want to share in closing today? Um, I hope everybody did enjoy the show and hope that it did surprise everybody with our uh, our group because sometimes they don't do many group games. So mm. um, I hope that uh, it was a new twist and keeps everybody's uh, focus watching the show. Oh, I think it will. I'm, I'm certainly <laughs> going to be back. And, and I look forward to talking to you again next week then. Natalia, right. thanks again. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Gail. Bye.